。喂，咁多位大家好，我梁 Sir。啱啱咧，我哋就睇咗雀仔嘅變異 variation。而家咧，我哋就嚟睇下植物嘅變異咯喎。咁以下呢個圖表咧就顯示咗啦，同一個嘅植物嘅物種。佢喺兩個唔同嘅生境去成長嘅時候，佢哋嘅生物質量有個咁樣嘅變化。咁啊 ，x a s e s 就係個重量啦。咁啊 ，y a s e s 咧就係有幾多款嘅物種啦。咁我哋分別有兩個嘅生境嘅，阿一同阿二。咁下面啦就係最典型嘅題目啦。根據數據。得出推論啦 ，OK， 咁呢條題目啦，就下翻我哋咧有關於連續同不連續嘅變異啦。第二啦，就係、是、考下一隻生物嘅表現型嘅變異 （phenotypic 嘅 variation）， 究竟係受到基因嘅因素影響啊，定係環境嘅因素影響咧？咁而家我哋睇一幅圖先啦。咁啊喺新景一咧，啲植物嘅質量咧普遍嚟講輕一啲嘅，啲植物嘅重量咧普遍咧係重一啲嘅。嚇咁亦都啦，唔會淨係得一個重量嘅，有幾個重量俾我哋連續地咧去睇得見嘅。咁我哋先睇第一句咯，佢就話啦，呢啲植物物種嘅質量咧係由兩個嘅基因咧所去影響住嘅。咁如果真係由兩個主要嘅基因去影響住嘅話咧，即係話無論你係生存喺新景一定新景二咧，你一係咧就係二百 gram 咁重，一係咧就二十 gram 咁重，係冇中間噶啦。OK， 咁呢個呢就叫做期望嘅兩個峰值啊嘛，兩個 peak 俾我見得到啊嘛，係咪？但係我見唔到喎，我見到新景一呢，有啲嘢輕啲嘅，有啲係重啲嘅，有啲係中間嘅。新景二呢，有啲係輕啲嘅，有啲係重啲嘅，有啲係中間嘅。咁即係話控制棵植物嘅質量唔一定得兩個轉，可以係多過兩個轉，又或者啦。佢係講緊咧，受到環境因素所影響啦，所以第一句就 say goodbye 啦。跟住到 B 咯，佢就話啦，呢、這個植物物種嘅質量咧，就係、是、受到環境因素所影響啦。誒、欸，好似頭先我講嘅嘢啦，就係、是、由於啦，大家都係同一款嘅植物物種，但係佢喺不同嘅身境底下，能夠顯示到嘅係不同嘅質量嘅分佈。正如我頭先所講啦，喺身境一咧。就係、是、有輕有重，但係總括嚟講都叫做輕。咁去到新景二呢，咁有啲係輕嘅，咁有啲都係重嘅，咁但係總括嚟講，佢哋都叫做比起新景一嘅為之重好多。嗱，大家都係同一款嘅植物物種。但係點解住嘅環境唔同，令到佢哋嘅質量有個咁大嘅變化呢？咁即係明顯地環境因素對佢哋嘅重量的確有一個較為大嘅影響。咁所以 B 呢，就為正確啦。嗱，都係嗰個邏輯嘅啫。我成日同大家講嘅，唔係有冇嘅問題，唔係 yes no 嘅問題。咁啊，梁 Sir 你話 A 錯啊嘛？咁即係話完全唔關基因事啦。我冇講過。我就係話啦，佢唔似主要受基因影響，而係講緊喺基因同埋環境因素當中，基因嘅影響較為細，環境嘅影響較為大。而 Part A 佢再衰啲嘅就係講緊，佢講到明得兩個 gen 啊嘛，咁死實實嘅係嘛？即係如果佢就話 is affected by gen 咧，其實都啱㗎。即係話咧，如果 A 嗰句咧，佢唔寫個二字咧，佢唔多手其實冇乜嘢嘅喎。喂，佢唔受基因影響，受咩影響啊？佢會受基因影響，亦都可以受環境影響。而家我哋觀乎嘅數據呢，就發現應該受環境因素影響嘅機會大啲。棵植物受到環境因素所影響嗰個程度就似乎大啲。然後啦，就去到 C D 啦，佢就話咧呢、這個物種嘅變異呢。就係、是、不連續變異，我擺到明就錯啦！你見到啦，兩者無論係呢個新景一定新景二呢，其實佢都係連續變異嚟㗎。點解我會知啊？因為見到個中型咯，一個中型嘅曲線就係一個近似正常分佈 （normal distribution） 嘅概念咯。但係啦，如果係不連續變異嘅話，應該係一支支分開嘅疤嘅，例如我哋學過嘅血型啦。就係、是、一款不連續嘅變異啦。我哋有 A 型血、B 型血、AB 型血同埋 O 型血。你唔會有啲 AA 地又能夠 BBB 地又能夠 O 噶嘛？係咪？即係佢哋係可以 heterocycles， 係啦個人顯示出嚟嘅。你一係就 A 型，一係就 B 型，係咪？咁所以 C 咧都係錯。而去到 D 咧，我就講啦，呢棵植物咧，佢哋個質量啊喺新景二咧，比起。住喺新景一咧，係更加受到環境因素所影響。嗱，都好多同學揀呢句噶
，因為咧佢哋會覺得，哎呀係喎，嗱、哦、佢住喺新景二嘅時候咧，係咪全部咧都係高啲噶？啊！佢咪更加受影響咯 ？No no no！ 個概念唔係咁樣諗啊！個概念係話咧，如果呢只植物嘅質量更加受到新景二影響嘅話咧，我應該見多幾條疤就真。見多幾條疤咪即係更加多啲唔同嘅類型嘅變化，係嘛 ？OK， 無論由輕至重嘅，我應該多幾條疤。而家咧，一二三四五六得六條疤。如果呢一句成立嘅話，我話唔定係應該見到六條疤以上。而喺呢個新景一嘅時候咧，你望一望，又係一二三四五六，咦，其實都係六個間距啫嘛。其實都係講緊六條疤嘅差距。呢度係由十去到七十，相差咗六十。呢度係由一七零去到二三零，其實都係相差咗六十。咁其實有冇話邊一個生境令到啲植物佢哋嗰個變異更加強勁啊？又睇唔出啦，兩條 curve 差不多形狀，差不多嘅範圍嘅變異，就兩個生境所能夠施加到嘅環境因素，其實都應該差不多。就顯示唔到喺生境二嘅環境因素影響，係比起生境一嘅環境因素影響為之大啦。So after we use the example of the Darwin's finch, the birds to study variation. So now we use plants as the example to study variation. So the graph it shows the masses of the same plant species grown in two different habitats, habitat one and habitat two. So in the graph we can see that the x-axis the mass of the plant species and the number of individuals on the y-axis. So in this question is asking that which of the following can be deduced from the graph. So we need to use the straight to the point method to. Answer this question. So for the concept checking, we need to understand the difference between the continuous and the discontinuous variation. What the definition of these two types of variation, and then we also need to develop the concept about the factor affecting the phenotypic variation, the appearance of the organism. So it's under the genetic factor control and the environmental factor control. So in this graph, we can see that in habitat one, in habitat two, there are six bar to show the mass of the plant species. In habitat one, we can find that the plant species they are a bit lighter, and in habitat two, the plant species they are a bit heavier. So we take a look at the options one by one. So for option A. The mass of the species is affected by two genes. So, if this statement were correct, we would expect two distinct peaks in this graph. It means that no matter in habitat one or habitat two, I will just either see the two hundred grams the bar or twenty grams bar. So there may be just two bar, no matter in habitat one or two. However, we cannot see that. I see six bars in habitat one, and I see six bars in habitat two. There may be more than two genes to control the mass of the plant species, or the mass of the species is affected by the environmental factor. It's also possible, right? Therefore, option A is wrong, and then option B is just what I say. The mass of the plant species is affected by the environment. So the same plant species show different mass distributions in two different habitats. So which clearly indicate the environmental factors. It really means something. It affects the mass of the species. So the concept is that some student they may ask, no, 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 Mr. Le. So the genotype it really affect the phenotype, right? So you cannot say that. The mass of the species is affected by the environment only. No, 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 no. I do not say that only. It's not about yes or no. It's about more or less. So the concept is that the phenotypic variation is under the control of the genetic factor and the environmental factor. But I can see that in this case, the genetic factor may be a bit minor. The environmental factor. It may be a bit major, and then for option A, is something wrong? Is that it says that by two genes? How could this statement firmly, so firmly, to say that controlled by two genes? Now, what if option A it just say that affected by genes? Yes, I will agree. 
However, it says that it's affected by two genes. I, I'm not sure it is really under control of two genes. So that's why option A is wrong. And I can see that if I put them in two different habitats, I can see a greater diversity in the mass. So I believe that the environmental factor could be the major factor, the main factor to control the mass of the species. And then option C and D. This continuous variation is shown in the mass of the species. Of course, it's wrong. Because for the graph, it shows the continuous variation in both habitats because we can see the bell-shaped curve as just I highlight here. So it seems like the normal distribution to show that it is a continuous variation. And what if it's really the discontinuous variation? I would expect the distinct separate category. So maybe in habitat one, I see one bar here and one bar here and one bar here and the other bar here. So, so very distinctive masses of the plant species. But I do not see that, right? Therefore, it should not be the discontinuous variation. And for option D, the mass of the species in habitat 2 is more affected by the environment than that in the habitat 1. So the idea is that both curves have similar shape and range of the variation. While both habitats show the environmental effect, there is no evidence to show that habitat 2 is more affected than habitat 1. So the idea is that the environmental factor is much greater than the habitat 1. I should see few more bar here. For example, few more bar, no matter for the lighter or the heavier one. Now I can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bar. So what if habitat 2, there is greater environmental factor. So I may see maybe five more bars to make it 11 bars, right? But that's something I do not see. However, in the habitat one, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, also six bars. So the, for the range from 10 grams to 70 grams. So the range is 60 grams difference. And for the habitat two, 170 to 230 is also 60 grams difference. Therefore, I say that both curves, they have similar shape and the range of the variation. So the environmental factor of habitat one and habitat two, most likely they are the same or highly similar.